Education. So one of the things that we need our government to do is take the lead on showcasing Canada's scientific expertise. There's a public education component in people having good information to base their decisions on rather than false financial arguments or false climate information. Uh, one of the things we want to do is government organize the data in a better way that people can be informed. Number two, we would like to end subsidies for fossil fuels and redirect that energy and that money to developing the technology we need. Um, we can invest publicly in supporting the development of local manufacturing of alternative technologies. As we're talking about what's happening to people in the tar sands, these are people whose job involves drilling. So one of the untapped uh, energies in Canada is geothermal, and the technology and the skills that they have would be well directed towards maximizing our use of geothermal energy rather than just telling them that all of them are going to be making solar panels. Yes. 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 When we're talking about those oil sands workers, yes, it's important to care about them making the transition, but we also need to care about 50% of Canadians that are living paycheck to paycheck and within $200 of some sort of financial crisis. When more than half the jobs in Hamilton are part-time, low pay, no security with no benefits, we can't just say we need to take care of the oil workers because they are the ones that are complaining the loudest. We need to take everybody with us. And last but not least, we want a carbon price to be significant. We want it to be transparent where that money goes. We want any money collected from a carbon price to go towards mitigation and investment in the new technology and or a dividend for citizens to help them to adapt. You're Thank you.